Yo, YouTube, check this out, man. We just gonna get straight to it. The new UFC patch is coming out tomorrow. These are the official patch notes. These are some of the fighters, but I ain't finna sit here and read these paragraphs describing these fighters because nine times out of ten, y'all not using them, all right? But we got Stephen Ursig. Um, let me scroll down. Okay, here's all the new fighters. Number five ranked in the flyweight division, Matthias Nikolai. If I'm saying that wrong, please let me know. Verna... John Diroba, or is it Jan Diroba? I'm not sure. Manel Cape, that's a W. Uh, Natalia Christina Del Silva, I've seen her on Twitter go uh, on talking to EA about her having a dream about being in a fighter. All right, Nazardine Imovov in the middleweight division, number eight. Marcin Tybor, number eight in the heavyweight division. Stephen Ursig, number 10 in the division. He's also about to compete for a, for a title. Michael Venom Page, number 13. That's going to be a really interesting one to do. And my favorite of them all, Drew Dober. Drew Dober, man. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic to use Drew Dober. I cannot wait. And then it says UFC 301 Fight Week Challenges and New Alter Egos. These will be added April 30th, 2024. Okay. Striking slowed down the recovery of short-term stamina. The speed changed mostly on the high end. From when the stamina was higher than half, when the stamina is low, the recovery is almost unchanged. Okay. Sped up the recovery of short-term block meter. <laughs> yeah, this is about three years old. This was a highly requested change, which aims to slow down the pace of the fights by discouraging consistent attempts at breaking the block and incentivizing attacking the body and legs more frequently. I mean... This should have been done in UFC 4, but, you know, here we are. Fix an issue that could allow head movement to evade body uppercuts. Uh, they also need to fix the issue, allow head movement to evade body front kicks because front kicks to the body get evaded too with head movement, and that was actually supposed to be fixed in UFC 4. Uh, but uh, speed of the execution of several strikes for higher weight classes, decreasing the speed difference between the higher and the lighter divisions. In most cases, this means two frame reduction for lightweight, welterweight, middleweight, and a four frame reduction for light heavyweight and heavyweight. For for faster strikes, the difference between weight classes are already appropriate, appropriately small. The effective strikes for the retail. Re I can't even read, bro. I'm I'm, I'm cooked. All right, relatively so, re slow ones that had 30 frames or less in the faster weight classes. The 720 spinning kick, the axe kick, lead and rear, the cartwheel kick, crane kick, lead and rear, double flying knee, ducking roundhouse, flying knee, lead and rear, hand plant kick, hook kick, jumping roundhouse, lead and rear, jumping switch kick, the lead and rear, the question mark kick, the lead and rear, um, rolling thunder, Spinning back fist lead, spinning elbow lead, spinning heel kick lead and rear, sprinting flying knee, Superman elbow, Superman punch lead and rear. Now, these are the strikes to the body. The body hand plant kick, the body jumping spinning side kick, body roundhouse, the lead and the rear, body spinning side kick, the lead, body Thompson roundhouse, which is Wonder Boy. Stephen Thompson says roundhouses to the body are different, and uh, the body Thompson side kick. Then the legs are going to be Stephen Thompson's leg kicks. Okay, significantly sped up the retreating roundhouse kicks to the head, body. Oh, no. Legs as well as the retreating calf kicks. I'm being completely honest with you guys. I don't like the animation on strikes moving backwards. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, nobody throws kicks moving backwards. Um, if they do, it's very rare. Um, if you could do me a favor and get up and actually try to throw a kick and move backwards, I would I would greatly appreciate your, your uh, contribution and understanding that it's just not possible. All right. Slow down retreating rear front kick to the head. Where's my mouse? I lost my mouse. Okay. Uh, this technique was a little too fast and how safe and powerful it was so done retreating front kick to the head okay uh improved it who threw this strike improved superman punch increased the base damage of this uh lead superman punch from 15 to 25 decreased the vulnerability of the lead superman punch from 20 percent increased the base damage of the rear superman punch from 25 
Oh yeah, increase it from twenty five to twenty seven point five. I'll be honest though, the Superman punch kind of locks you in. Like the defensive guy is like locked in, and he can't do certain things when they do the, do that Superman punch. So I wonder how if anyone's gonna start spamming that. Shift this in properties of the body switch kick. Previously, the switch kick was too fast for its animation to play out properly. The beginning of the animation the switch kick had to be rushed. We have significantly slowed it down so the animation can look more realistic as com compensation. We have decreased its vulnerability, increased its damage. This makes it so most damage, mo it, that makes it the most damaging body kick along with jumping spin side kick to the body it also targets the open and more vulnerable side of the torso when fighters are in the same stance will you be able to time it well enough however no all right increase the base damage from 20 to 22.5 decrease vulnerability by 25 percent significantly to slow down its execution varying by weight class um i think they just literally just bodied the front kick uh i think the front kick was really good to throw i think roundhouses to the body uh are are fairly slow compared to uh you know how people will whip them, them body kicks up in real life but i mean we'll just have to wait to see how that goes but i do also don't want it to feel like i'm in a 50 50 position when they throw the kicks but i mean some people kicks come out so fast they they feel that way like yair but shifted some of the stamina costs on the ground game from from short term to long term on one hand the short term stamina felt too restricting on ground game discouraging a uh, exciting burst of activity on the other hand rounds spent most on the ground game didn't tag the long-term stamina off. we therefore changed the cost as follows decrease the short-term stamina by 10 percent this includes the drain from struggle in submissions <sighs> All right, increase the long-term stamina by 20%, net 8%. This means that the actual long-term cost of an of an action will be 8% higher than before these changes. And these bug fixes, I fix it up. Fix a rare, unplayable state during an exchange from over under clinch. Fix an issue that allowed the dominant fighter in the cage, single other clinch to punch the submissive fighter while they defend a knee. Uh, fix the issue that prevented fighters from walking into the tower feet on hips position in practice mode. Fix the rare animation issue when performing a collar tie clinch entry against a ducking opponent. Fix the rare animation issue when performing a collar tie clinch entry from the side after an evasion. Uh, yeah. Um. <sighs> Patch is a, is a bit small. Um, as far as changes, I mean, they did change the frames on all these moves, but as far as like big changes comparing it to the last patch, I think this patch was fairly small. Um, they brought in a, a good amount of fighters, so, so they're saying alter egos. Um, I, like I said, I'm really excited to use Drew Dober. I want to see how the switch kick is now because it's going to be tough getting the switch. Switch kick was a really good kick and it was really fast, but it was still able, like, if you had decent reaction time and you was reacting to the speed of the switch kick i'll say that but again i understand i'm not mad at it we'll have to test it but also the biggest thing to me personally is the speed of the stamina and the block those are the two things that that uh that i want to see the stamina slow the recovery of your stamina is slowed down and also the block meter you're going to get your block back faster so people basically can't just sit consistently block break you i want to see how that works out um hopefully it's for the better if not a hey, you know we just keep keep on trucking and uh keep on complaining respectfully but hey i'm gonna get up out of here man i appreciate you guys time uh video i'm not i'm not crazy energetic i'm just chilling so um we're just reading off the patch notes but again i'll be going live maybe i won't go live today to save my notification that way we can um get as many notifications in when it comes to everything addressing these patches as far as Drew Dober for sure, Michael Venom Page. But we will be uh uploading these fighters. So if you guys have not yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. So whenever I do upload, y'all can get the notification and watch it, okay? But with that being said, I'm gonna catch y'all tomorrow. Y'all stay up, stay blessed, keep moving forward, all right? 